Hello everyone and welcome back to A City Planner Plays City Builders. We are playing City Skylines and building the city of Bluffside Crossing. So today I want to do something a little different than I maybe initially indicated. Uh, I've been looking at this area and thinking about what we could do to improve it. And uh, first, uh, you know, we need to expand the shopping center. Some of the comments uh, said, you know, it would be great if there were was more strip retail along here. And I look at this and think there's more land that could be developed. Uh, further, I look and I see that this little park and ride that I set up is packed. So what we're going to do is fill in uh, another big box retailer over here build some uh, strip shopping across the street from this and we're going to relocate this parking to open up this area for another shopping center. So I'm going to pause because uh, there's going to be some work to do. So first, I'm going to move this, these emergency services because what I really want to do is eliminate all of this and start fresh. Uh, I think that I made a mistake with what I did and rather than try to to work around it, let's just remedy it. Um, so I am gonna try to work with the landscape a little bit here. I want to be able to build in this area at some point. I think it's valuable land. And I think that we're only making it more valuable with some of the changes that we're making. So let's get it set up for the future. And then at the same time, let's get this set up for now. So I am going to continue to level out some land here for another shopping center. So, whoa, not that big. <laughs> continue to expand this over here a bit and we will remedy some of the issues that we see uh, coming up soon so I am going to lower this road to be even Oh, uh, mistake there. Try it again. <laughs> Object height and let's lower it to, okay. So now we have this problem here with our cable car stop. So let's again try to lower that to the target. Whoops, I always have a mistake, uh, a habit of making that mistake. And then we'll smooth things out a bit. Try to make that grade a little bit more natural if at all possible. And I think that our shopping center is not going to go much beyond this pad. Um, but now I want to take a look at this cable car stop. I don't know that it works, so let's get it fixed. Okay. So we got that fixed now. And, well, actually it's not fixed because it's not on the road. Uh, now we have an invalid shape issue. All right, I was worried about that being a thing. And it is a thing. <laughs> Okay, we will remedy this. It'll just take a moment. 
There we go. It can be a little tricky to get those right, but once you get it right, I think it's worth it. Okay. So now I think that puts us in a good spot with um, this particular asset. Uh, you know, one thing I did notice though is that it, the parking lot was routinely full. We're going to probably make it just a, a, a shade bigger than it was before. There we are. There's the asset. And we're going to try to be cognizant that this will likely be well utilized again. I try to do a little bit more in the way of constructing it with enough parking to actually meet the needs of the gondola. It's anarchy here. We'll fix those issues in a moment. So in my mind, this was going to look better than I think it actually does. Not sure that I love the way it turned out. Let's see if it gets any better when I lower this. Can be a little tricky with these sometimes because you can have these assets that kind of get stuck. So I think I am going to just close it off right there, and that'll be good enough. Maybe that'll allow us to extend another service road up if we need more parking in the future. I also think it would be nice to get rid of anarchy to have an additional structured parking lot here. But yeah, the way that I've designed this, it's not gonna fit quite right. So we will just leave it as is for the time being. We will need Anarchy back for that asset. Let's get this as straight as we can. There, there, hmm, just a little bit too big. Overlap a bit. Okay, so we have that. Let's let's get a few trees lining that to to spruce it up a little bit. No pun intended. <laughs> it was a bad pun. Um, Okay. So we'll just loop this around a little bit. Oh yeah, I'm liking this a lot. But I do want this to place blocked items so that I don't end up in any tricky situations with these assets. Okay. So I am pleased with the way that turned out. Let me make sure I have prop anarchy off. And let's make sure that this is still working. Oh, all those people falling from space onto the sidewalk. Perfect. Let's 
people just falling down the gondola. <laughs> Alright, that'll resolve itself with time. Alright. So, we have now cut off power to the shopping center, so let's get that restored. And we have also severed the connection to our to the area where everyone's walking from. So we're going to want to get that remedied. Make this a little more pleasant for people. Okay. Now there is stoplights right there. I want to remedy that right off the bat because I know that that's going to be a problem. I don't want this backing up into the intersection. If it means that people have to walk down here to cross, that's okay in my book. They might actually walk all the way down there, which is also okay. All right. So that is resolved. So what I am thinking is we are going to... Well, not thrilled that that upgraded. So I, I, I realize that I am struggling a little bit with keeping this uh, some of the buildings in this shopping center from upgrading. And I'm not 100% sure why. So you might see some of these upgrade. I've downloaded this mod that appears to not be working that uh, would help me set historical buildings. Even if I'm setting them as historical, they're still upgrading. So I will have to remedy that soon. You see the AT&T store there just upgraded. Bummer. Okay. I will solve that offline. But what I was thinking for now... is that we could place some strip shopping hmm and it's considering that a unique building and not wanting me to do more Okay, I, I paused that for a quick second because these buildings were demolishing and I could not figure out why. And then I remembered if I do not, because I don't have Rico enabled, if I do not zone this particular area, I will not be able to, um, the buildings will just auto demolish. So I zone them and now everything's looking good. Um, so I, I decided to front the street with these. Um, there are two different schools of thought. If you speak to any developer, they will say, we absolutely need our parking to be out front. And if you speak with any planner, they're going to say, we absolutely do not want parking to be out front. Uh, we would much rather see... Um, parking to be in the rear of the building. I understand why a developer feels the way that they do. Uh, you know, it makes good sense to me. Um, it, if you think about it, um, really, parking visibility means a lot to a retailer. So if your parking is not visible for whatever reason, it's going to be that much more difficult to be able uh, to, to attract customers, particularly if you're not in an incredibly desirable store, you know, not an Apple store or something like that, where it's a destination in and of itself and people are coming, you know, regardless of, of what's happening. <laughs> so, you know, you have some of those situations where, you know, I get it. That doesn't mean I, I like it anymore. <laughs> Hmm. 
Okay, I think I might have made a mistake with this. Let me turn off road guidelines. I think that's my problem right now. So I want to be able to have a small bit of parking back here. And it actually might be desirable to put this parking first and then extend this. Whoops. And I guess it makes no difference. I thought that it might, but it does not, unfortunately. So I think I am going to put this luxury shopping center, which is a ploppable building right here. Okay. So I think that looks pretty good. I'm not gonna get overly finicky about this. I kind of just, I want it to look good. It doesn't need to be perfect. Ultimately, the, what I'm really looking for is for this to look good when there are cars in the lot. Okay, I like that. Um, and let's throw a couple trees in there. Let's go with something like this. Hmm. Actually, anarchy on. I wish that these buildings had doors in the back. I think that would really improve the aesthetic. Generally, that's what you would see. Um, unfortunately, not for this particular set of buildings. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of fill in some trees to block that view. <laughs> and then something smaller back here. And I think that we can just do something a little smaller back here. I'm going to block high rises from occurring in this district. Mm, ban high rises. Where is it? There it is. Okay. All right, that's looking good. And, you know, we could, maybe I will just move this over. Whoa, not that. Move this over here. We'll make this a family dollar instead. Again, we're doing that. Okay. Very good. I like it. I think that looks very nice. All right. 
And now I didn't uh, receive any direct responses to what we should build over here. So I'm thinking I'd like to see a Home Depot um, of, out of all the the strip shopping. That's probably my favorite. <laughs> so I'm going to go with it. And I'm going to kind of try to mirror what uh, we did over here. But at the same time, be cognizant of uh, the need to be able to place some some shopping. So let's see. You know what? I know that I have this really cool Apple store. So let's put that. Actually, that's way too uh, upscale for there. And I still need to zone it. Temporarily, I'll zone it like that. Ooh, I didn't realize I have this for the family dollar. Ah, hold on. Okay, did a little bit of research, and what happened is some of these properties unzoned. So I don't know how exactly that happened. It probably occurred when I was um, messing with some of these buildings, but uh, I think I have it resolved now. The only other thing I can think is water. Make this historical so it doesn't change. And I realize I've got to get this in here right. Okay. Now I think we're good. Historical, historical, histor. Oh, not historical. And some failing businesses. Bummer. All right, so I, I'm, I am having some problems making these buildings stay. I am going to work on that um, because they are upgrading in ways that I do not want. Do not love this. So, but for the time being, I think it's gonna work. We will work on the Home Depot for now and maybe I will leave that strip center empty for the time being. So this time around, I think I want to go a little bit bigger with the parking field. So I'm going to leave this here. Um, I'll leave myself three tiles to work with. Then I'm going to loop around. Let's get our Home Depot plopped. because clearly that's the most important part and I have them too far out. So. First, I'm noticing a couple quick things. I have Anarchy on again. My favorite mistake to make. So let's turn that off. And then I've really got to be thoughtful about the way that I'm placing these roads. Because I, I want to try to make sure that I'm leaving enough room for the Home Depot, but at the same time, I want to be—I want the parking to be oriented in a way that makes sense. So I'm probably going to get rid of some of these smaller connections. Obviously, that wouldn't—you know—you're not going to see smaller parking fields like that. Hmm. 
So it might actually be easiest just to do this. Which would be to completely sever these. And then just kind of fill in the rest of the way. Okay, this is looking much better. So let's see how many of these do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six. So let's try to space these out just a, a, a shade better because I think I could do a little better than this. Road guidelines. Actually, I might need those. Okay. Now I think we can get these in. What I'm going to do is just kind of mirror what I'm doing on both sides. And if I have a bigger spot in the center, I'm not super worried about that as long as everything is even. That is not even. <laughs> okay, that's even, I like that. Uh, and now I will plop the Home Depot. Looks like it's just about centered there. Oh, brutal. So this is a little bit deeper than I had hoped it would be. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of come in and cut these off. Okay, that should work. And that'll at least allow me enough space to add that service road to get to the back of the Home Depot. And I can clean this up. I'm not overly concerned about that terraforming issue right there. Okay. Let's get that even to Home Depot. Perfect. That's looking good. So let's fill in our parking field. I think I'm going to pause this for a well, no, I won't. No, I, I, I like to do things real time. I don't want to take uh, take that for granted that, you know, some of you, I think, are here because you appreciate the real time build, which I personally do myself. So if you would like me to skip stuff like this, let me know in the comments. But if you do like it, let me know that too, because I can keep doing it. I know that it can make the videos last a little bit longer. Um, some people will speed stuff like this up. I have not done that so far. And again, to save a little bit of time, I think I might overlap these. So I know that one of the commenters uh, said that we need we, we need some transit in this area, and I completely agree. I think what I'd like to do is take some of this extra land off the side of here, uh, and or or potentially over here, and actually build a small transit center over here could work as well. Okay, let's get some water going. Over here. All right, we did have some power issues. It looks like those have been remedied. Good. 
And now let's get some landscaping because it's not really done until we do that. So this would be a highly visible site for Home Depot. I think they would love this. Right off the interstate, you'd see it right away. First thing you see, uh, easy access in. I talked about those A and B sites last time. Definitely an A site. I would say that Target's probably a B site. They might actually seek some sort of signage on the interchanges to make this a better site for themselves. Uh, that is very controversial signage, as you could imagine. And if I were the mayor of the city, I would certainly think about what that might do to the community in terms of its overall aesthetic. Let's get some bushes going. Do a row of bushes along the side of the building just to jazz it up a, a little bit. Okay. Maybe along the backs of these buildings as well. All right, and I think there's one last thing that we need to do. Very important for Home Depot. Let's get this signage. So they're going to want something very prominent right here. Likely right here as well. And if they have their way over here too. All right. Looking good. Uh, I think we could terraform just a bit. So I intended on uncovering a, a few more things in this video. I think I mentioned that in the comments. Uh, all of this stuff is, is pretty time consuming. So everything takes a little longer than I'd imagine, um, which is fine. I, I really enjoy putting the detail in and making sure that this is high quality. So hopefully you guys can forgive me for that. Let's get rid of a couple of these kind of rogue trees. And I think we've uh, taken this land that was otherwise pretty unusable and developed some pretty good uses along it. So we've got a Target, a Home Depot, got some commercial uses. Um, we are going to do something to try to make sure that this stays and some of these other buildings stay. I'm not exactly sure why some of these historical buildings are not historical anymore. <laughs> the one thing I could think that we could try to do real quick. Bear with me, everyone. I'm going to try to eyedropper this building. You know what? And I'm seeing the problem. So again, we had another situation where the building stopped uh, being zoned appropriately. Let's let this fill in, see if this looks a little better. Need to move some of the signage. Forgive the underground view. I don't really understand why that happened. Okay. <clears throat> Much better. Uh, I think, let's see. Do I have a, a Starbucks? It's a little too big. Uh, what was that? A and
Uh, I was hoping I could find A and W, but that is apparently a challenging one to get. Working. Don't want a little liquor store. <laughs> Panda Express too big. Ah, how about burger? Um, okay, well, I, I think I can leave it here uh, unless I can make any of these work. No, they're all a little too big. I've got tons of assets downloaded. Unfortunately, a lot of them are three by three. Popeyes showing up as a KFC. That's funny. <laughs> Chick-fil-A, all of them just a little too big. Checkers. Ah, oh, Checkers works. And let's not forget, make these historical so that they stay. Historical checkers. All right, very good. I am digging it. I think that this looks really good. Um, so I, I wanna thank you all for again joining me uh, as we create the city of Bluffside Crossing. Um, I think we're making a really cool community here and I'm really proud of it. I hope that you guys are enjoying the build. If you are, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel if you're not already subscribed and hitting the notification bell if you wanna be notified whenever I make new videos. Uh, I think in the next uh, video, we might take a look at the transit system and, and, and try to make sure that it's still working for the city. Uh, if we take a look, I think that we are in a spot where we have potentially outgrown the existing transit system. We're not serving whole areas of the community and some of the community we're not serving well. So uh, even at that, we have pretty decent utilization. So might as well continue to, uh, to, to, to grow this. So thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and have a good day or night, <laughs> whichever it is for you. Bye-bye.